So for our book project, Rohan and I read The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne, written in 2006. Let's start with some background knowledge. The deadliest war that ever began was on September 1st, 1939. The war consisted of two powers, the Allies and the Axis powers. The Allies were made up of many countries, but mostly Britain, Free France, the Soviets, and the U.S. The fascist Axis powers led by a dictatorship consisted of Japan, Germany, and Italy, known as the Tripartic Pact. Next, let's talk about concentration camps, where most of our story took place. Jews were taken from their homes in freedom and were placed here, surrounded by barbed wire. These begun in 1940 and lasted till 1945. It was a place full of disgust. Every path led to hatred, and each and every minute was to be fought for your life. It was known as a place to kill Jews, tear apart families, and turn the Jews against themselves. Next, let's talk about the book. Our main character, Bruno, is an eight-year-old kid and the son of a head Nazi from the center of Berlin. Bruno is outgoing and always stays strong through the hardest moments. The thing that puts him in a different path than the rest is he thinks the Jews are normal people as well as him. He helps the Jews, unlike any other, whenever near one, instant connections are always made. Bruno and his family moved outward, away from the city. However, next to a camp, which he believes is just a farm, his favorite hobby is exploring, so he goes on an adventure. He comes along a camp, which he thinks is a great place, due to the brainwashed by his father, and he meets a boy the same age as him in blue and white pajamas named Shmuel. Bruno visits Shmuel every day with sometimes food or a ball. Even when there's a 10-foot net in the way, they can stop their connection from growing after Shmuel's dad goes missing and the only person he can think to ask help for is Bruno. Bruno, still persuaded by his Nazi father, believes on the other side that Jews are happy and are playing games. So he's willing to crawl under the wires to help. Put pajamas with stripes on and begin looking for Shmuel's dad. Immediately, the boys in their group are called to the gas chambers after Bruno's arrival. Moments later, dead, Shmuel and Bruno, the boys in the stripes, never to be seen again. Bruno's father, the lead Nazi, accidentally killed his own boy, the one he loved most. This made his readers think that the only thing the Nazis really had was the hate that could never escape their body. What we read in the book ties closely to what we've learned about the Holocaust in class. It gave us an additional perspective on the cruelty of the Nazis and how they greatly mistreated Jews by gassing them and putting them in concentration camps. In conclusion, this book emphasized what we learned about the Nazis' genocide on the Jewish people. Thanks for watching our presentation on the boy in the striped pajamas.